English 1100 is a course focused on the writing process, on generating and exploring ideas through writing, sharing very rough writing with the instructor and with each other, and taking writing projects through several drafts, getting feedback at various stages of the process. This idea of doing short pieces of writing, discussing the writing as it's in the process of growing and evolving, and then helping students revise, not just at the sentence level, but at the global level, is really central to the course. Students tend to think of revising as tinkering with their drafts, fixing errors, or adding an example here or a paragraph there. As their professor, you'll need to show them how to revise in a much more in-depth way, starting discussions about their drafts long before they are complete, and helping students develop these drafts so that the final version is substantially different from the first draft. At least one of the writing projects you do in the class should go through four different drafts. However, as we said in the overview of the writing program video, it's also a course where we want students to learn about writing as a discipline. We want them to read about what some scholars have said about the way that writing works, and we want them to test those ideas and see how well they describe their own writing process. Many ineffective writing courses, especially in high school, teach writing as a formula. Students are taught to imitate model essays and to learn the pieces of an essay introduction, thesis, transitions, evidence, concluding paragraphs, and how to put them together in a certain way. While it may sometimes be useful to study and analyze other pieces of writing, and it certainly will be useful to talk about structural elements of writing, we want to make sure not to teach students to assemble writing according to a formula. Instead, we want you to treat writing as a complex process, not as a static set of features. That's one of the reasons that we're asking you not to order a textbook for your college writing course. Instead, we've assembled a reading list that we hope will help you talk about the writing process from several different perspectives. If you click on Readings for English 1100, you'll see that we've organized them into four different categories. Each of these categories approaches the writing process from a different perspective. None of them gives students a formula to follow. All of them give students ways of thinking about writing, which is what we want students to do in your course. They're not set up as a sequence. You can pick and choose which ones to assign and in what order. In fact, you don't have to use any of them. You can bring in your own readings if you prefer, especially if you know of good readings that generate conversation about writing. But we do want you to look through them because whether or not you use them in class, we think they give an excellent idea of the way we're asking you to think about the writing process and what we want you to teach in your classes. So what kind of writing assignments should you give in English 1100? The short answer is assignments that get students to think about some aspect of the writing process. Assignments that teach students something about writing. That leaves a lot of leeway for you to decide, but we do have some examples of writing assignments that do this, and of how you can tie writing assignments into the readings we've provided. You can find links to these assignments on our English 1100 readings page, as well as a recording of a workshop that takes you through how and why these assignments fit our philosophy of teaching writing. We're planning on adding resources for assignments soon, so please make sure to check back. One final note about English 1100, we don't expect teachers to give final or midterm exams in this course. Our emphasis here is on feedback and revision, and an in-class exam doesn't lend itself to this process. That's all for now. We're planning to create additional videos on other topics, including different writing assignments that you might use and ways of giving feedback. We hope that you'll keep coming back to this website and checking out those resources.